Hi, my name is Kate Pearson and I'll be doing Bunny's monologue from John Guare's House of Blue Leaves. I know what you're gonna say, but I won't cook for you. You bend my arm and twist my heart, but I've got to be strong. I won't cook for you until after we're married. I'm not that kind of girl. Now, I'll sleep with you anytime you want, anywhere. In the past two months that I've known you, have I refused you once? Not once. You want me in the bag with you right now? Unzip it. Go on. Unzip it. Artie, you give your fingers a smack and I am flat on my back. And I'll sew those words into a sampler for you and our new home in California. And we can hang it right by the front door because, Artie, I'm a rotten lay. And I know it. And you know it. And everybody knows it. It's no insult. I'm just not good in bed. I took that sex test from the Reader's Digest two weeks ago, and I scored 12. 12! Artie! I ran out of that dentist office with tears gushing from my face, but I face up to the truth about myself. So if I cooked for you now and said that I wouldn't sleep with you till we're married, then you'd look forward to sleeping with me so much that by the time we did get to that motel near Hollywood, I'd be such a disappointment and you'd never forgive me. My cooking is the only thing that I've got to lure you with and to hold you with. Artie, we gotta keep some magic for the honeymoon. It's my first honeymoon and I want it to be so good. I'm aiming for two million calories. I want to cook for you so bad. I walk by the A&P and I get all hot jabs of chili powder between my thighs, but, but, but I can't. Not till we get those tickets to California safe in my purse. Not until Billy knows that we're coming. And not until I get that ring right on my cooking finger. Don't tempt me. I love you.